There's never been a better time than now to game develop. Tools, assets and engines available for all walks of life are now at your fingertips. And while Unity and Unreal are powerhouses in both AAA and indie development, there are far more that have been made and many more that are under the radar. But today I'm going to be talking about a specific movement within the game development community that has popped up during the later stages of the 2010s, and by that I mean the fantasy console movement. Before I start I want to make clear that this is only a brief overview and introduction to the subject, and there are still things I won't be able to cover upon making this video as I'm still researching more on it. I'll provide links though for more information in the description down below. What is a fantasy console? To begin with, it is the recreation of an era in gaming that harkens back to the 80s and to some extent the 70s. Same can also be said for the 90s, due to the 16-bit counterparts being more so developed. By their nature, the design and creation of these fantasy consoles are a reflection of the consoles that once populated the gaming market. The consoles from Nintendo, Sega, and Atari and other competitors were the biggest influences in the realization of this concept and its further development. Its most successful iteration is the Pico 8 Fantasy Console. Looking back at your own history, you would occasionally feel a wave of nostalgia. You can't quite explain why it occurs, but it is triggered every time you think of it. In the context of gaming, remember the times you played on your favourite console. The thoughts of that console invoke the feeling of days you wish you could relive again. Fantasy Consoles are designed with the intent to make you feel this way for something that technically doesn't even exist. These concepts were made with a number of reasons. The most important one, I believe, is to immortalize an era that has been gone long ago, which is the same mandate that emulators of old consoles were designed for, so that one day, even if all the physical copies of said consoles were to disappear, they would always, at least, exist in a digital form. Fantasy consoles are also emulators, but for platforms that only exist on the net. Beyond that, they also function as game makers, coming with their own IDE, sprite, music maker, and tile editors all assembled for developers to make games within their own respective fantasy console, and there are dozens of consoles like the Pico 8 being updated frequently as well as new ones being made. On itch.io, many of these can be found on their website, as well as the offshoot bracket known as fantasy computers, which emulate the era of platforms such as the ZX Spectrum and the Commodore 64. The most well-known fantasy computer in this category is the TIC-80, the counterpart to the Pico 8. Because of their retro aesthetic and design philosophy, they are very limited in terms of graphical capability and resolution scaling. Over the years, big companies had to make do with the technology that was available to them. Fantasy consoles turned the clock back, while still being accessible to those who are learning how to develop games. With the amount of resources and engines available to the public, why would you choose fantasy consoles over more capable platforms? Well for starters, it's great for those who specifically want to make retro inspired games and for those who wish to work under more limiting workstations. They provide the same nostalgic link that AAA titles nowadays often fail to bring back. Fantasy consoles are a link to the past, for those who grew up during the 8 to 16 bit generations of gaming. Familiar but fresh. We've had retro inspired games for years. The indie scene is often littered with 8 to 16 bit games, but fantasy consoles are the bridge between the aesthetic of retro gaming and the emulation of a platform made specifically for them. Fantasy consoles are an exciting phase in game development, and it's only really getting started. It's only a matter of time until 32 and 64-bit inspired fantasy consoles make their way, and I can't wait to see their eventual development. Thank you for watching. 